15 for my bro, yeah. 15 with my bro, yeah. Lakers, I wanna come home. Lakers, I wanna come home. Show my love. Hey, 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 it's your girl Zara Beauty. <laughs> what do you guys think of that intro? Yay or nay? Like, I want to change my intro tagline. Like, oh my God, I want it to be, you know, lit. So welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? So today, you know when I have my shades on and when I have my hair up, you know that I'm about to talk about somebody. So if you're Nigerian or you follow Big Brother Nigeria, you have heard of what has been going on over the last couple of days. Housemate, well, ex-housemate Kemen, Abuja Kemen, was disqualified from Big Brother for doing some acts of perviciousness, for being a pervert. So I'm going to insert the clip where he was allegedly, well, not allegedly, we saw him, you know, touching and fingering um, one of the other housemates, T-Boss, um, while she slept. Well, this was recorded in the Big Brother house. As you guys know, Big Brother and its occupants all know that they are being filmed 24-7, so there are no secrets at Big Brother. You guys should go ahead and check it out. So you guys just saw that. I won't even lie to you. When I first saw that video, I was so creeped out. Like, I was like, what the fuck did I just watch? Like, I felt my skin crawl. Like, seriously, guys. Like, I literally felt my skin crawl. Like, I felt like that was really disgusting. I mean, I've seen these things happen a lot of times. But just the way he did it with such maliciousness i don't know it just looked so bad it just looked wrong okay so like i felt like that was just that was just creepy as fuck and you guys saw that and apparently you know after people watched that scene you know allegedly t-boss didn't know what was going on you saw her turn you know and she i mean that can happen i know in my sleep okay i'm not gonna lie i'm really sensitive but a lot of people are deep sleepers you can do things to them when they sleep and they won't know so because it's something sexual doesn't mean that maybe they had a drink or two the night before doesn't mean that that automatically means that he can have his way with her no so i mean watching that video i was like jesus christ you know but yeah so a lot of people that watch that clip they reported this to big brother and said this is not okay they need to do something about it and they called kemen in and they disqualified him from the race to win 25 million naira which is around hundred thousand dollars and it just really sucks but at the end of the day they had to take a stand that is not okay but then a lot of nigerians being nigerian are having different different things to say about the whole issue and the weird thing is that i've never watched big brother i've never sat down put on my laptop on my tv and said i'm watching big brother niger but guess what i know everything that's going on everybody on my snapchat on my twitter facebook whatever social media i go on instagram mostly instagram and snapchat they are filming everything like i have never guys if i tell you i have never watched this ever, ever. well i used to watch it when i was younger but this new season i have never watched it you guys will not believe it. and i know so much i know the housemates names i know they were fake housemates i know the ratings i mean I mean, a lot of Nigerians are invested into this because for a while there was no Big Brother. The franchise was not really booming. Now there's a Big Brother, although the most stupid things that you're doing Big Brother Nigeria and South Africa. This is another way South Africa keeps on stealing our resources, but we're meant to be Gens of Africa. Anyway, I digress. You guys know that when it comes to politics, I digress a lot. So, anyways, moving on. Um, so a lot of the Nigerians had a lot of things to say. Weirdly enough, a lot of Nigerians supported Kemen and they said, why did Big Brother have to punish Kemen by disqualifying him from the race for 25 to 5 million naira, 25 million naira? Why didn't they keep him there? Because, because another housemate had done this, a girl, she had kissed another housemate while he was asleep. Her name was Debbie Rice and she kissed um bassy which is also a housemate when he was asleep after he uh, you know rejected her advances while they were both awake okay. 
So a lot of Nigerians were like, okay, if they disqualified Kemen for touching T-Boss, why didn't they disqualify Debbie Rise when that happened? This all comes down to the whole double standards thing. So a lot of people are screaming foul and they're saying this is double standards. Why didn't they get the girl? And I agree with that. If she did do that, she also had to be disqualified. It's unfair if they disqualified the guy and they didn't disqualify the girl. And that's the truth. Nigeria still does have that primitive mentality where they assign different roles and different punishments and consequences to different genders. And that really sucks. But at the end of the day, this was very creepy, okay? Like a kiss and fingering is very, very different. And they shouldn't be done without the person's consent. But the clip of two of them doing what it was, that thing, that finger whatever this guy did was way creepy than it looked okay I, I mean it was really creepy i i know okay but i mean at the end of the day it's it call it all comes down to you know the tradition and the culture and the values that the people you know believe in basically and yet big brother you know caved into the pressure to say you know you need to take this guy out you need to show that you don't stand for this and women whatever empowerment at the end of the day they're disregarding the fact that this happened to the guy but at the end of the day there is still a lot of violence against women in nigeria so i mean if they stood up for women in this instant they are right to do so and no one really has the right to scream foul because they need to lead by example a lot of women in nigeria especially are prone to domestic violence rape all kinds of predatory things done to them and you know this shows that we are not okay with it as a people and this was a step in the right direction in my opinion i felt like although it was unfair you know given the circumstances they needed to do this to prove that we are moving forward as a people as a nation and i really do appreciate that but at the end of the day um it is what it is you're not meant to do anything without a person's consent young ones out there it is not okay if the person says no, if the person is not awake, you have no right to take advantage of the bodies, no matter the situation that they were in while you guys were awake, okay? And one thing that I really pissed me off is that the family of Kemen says they want to sue Big Brother Nigeria for disqualifying him. And I'm like, are you dumb? Are you stupid? Who is the lawyer that's even going to do this? Two of you must be stupid together. Your son was a perv on national TV. Everybody knows that you are filmed 24-7 in Big Brother. They know. They signed contracts everybody knows your son did it big brother did not say hey do this for money no he did it because that is who he is inside and you're trying to sue the company for disqualifying him for breaching a contract see the dumbass people see, you just see their dumbass in fact i just i give up smarty su, su, su. see i'm mad like su, susanna nonsense but anyways the family says they want to sue i'm like go and sue now oh lord Bruko. as you are entering the court they will flog you out nonsense help you to teach your son to to treat to respect women you know and then i heard that a speaker because the guys from acquired bomb apparently then i heard that a acquired bomb like assembly speaker was speaking on the situation what edaku what is your business concerning big brother you not go and look for the funds to pay the salaries of the public workers you're talking about big brother what is it i understand that in my paint you know they are from acquired bomb and you know you might paint them in a bad light but this is one person's mishap how what does he have to do with the rest of acquired bomb like i don't get it like why are you speaking about this? What does it concern us? Like, how is his situation going to help a quiet bomb in any way? Like, I, I was confused when I saw that. I was like, what's up? What's going on? Anyway, guys, this is it about the whole Big Brother thing. What do you guys think in the comment section below? Do you think that Kemen deserved to leave the house? Do you think that Big Brother should have, you know, dealt with the case as they dealt with the one uh, concerning Debbie Rice? What do you guys think? Do you even watch Big Brother at all? Do you even know what I'm talking about? If you don't, also leave that in the comment section. And don't forget to give me a like if you like this video. Thumbs up for more reaction videos. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Join my family. Lab. Follow me on all my social media. Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, everything. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>